Black Ram D13 back at you again. You know why? Well, it's because this is therapeutic, man. Back again with another video in a therapy session. This time I want to talk about how your life is about to change. And quite possibly now, quite possibly for the worse. Sleepy Joe enacting draconian laws that's going to surely affect your everyday life coming real soon sooner than later but what are you talking about black ram 313 mr doom and gloom what are you talking about well i'm talking about executive order 140 67 signed on march of 2022 this year to possibly be enacted by the end of the year or early next year. Did you hear about it? Or were you distracted by media and sports and celebrity television, right? Tell, lie, vision. Were you distracted by that? Should be big news, but of course it's not. And that's when you know something is up. When something should be big news, but it's kept under wraps. You can only find out about it on articles online but nobody is really talking about it nobody is telling you about it and the talking heads on the mainstream media certainly are not addressing it or talking about it or even mentioned it have you heard of executive order 14067 most likely not it was new to me when i heard it and you would think that people will be talking about this in mass but oh no so what is this executive order and what does it mean for you and me in our everyday lives. What are these implications? Well, simply put, it would allow for the United States, of course, and the Federal Reserve to enact a CBDC. Well, what is a CBDC? Central Bank Digital Currency, as in cryptocurrency, as in digital dollar, as in digital assets. Well, to some, that may sound like a good thing. Technology moving forward. And yeah, okay, maybe convenient. Technology moving forward. Yeah. I mean, you have what Apple Pay and Google Pay and, you know, you can cash out people and sell people. Yeah. Everything is pretty much digital as we see it today. Yeah, yeah. But an official digital dollar that could possibly replace paper and coins Still, that sounds like it might be convenient. But when you look behind the veil, when you investigate a little further, well, this would allow for complete control of your wallet, your digital wallet. See, here's the thing. With a simple keystroke, they could limit your purchasing power overnight. Personal sanctions like they do different countries, like Russia is sanctioned by the United States and you know other countries, they can say, you know what? We don't like you, sir, ma'am, or madam, or whomever you might be. And we are not going to allow you to make purchases whatsoever. We can turn it on and turn it off. We can take money out, put money in, whatever we want to do. Because it's all digital. Every purchase that you make will be tracked and possibly critiqued. No privacy. Everything that you have, everything that you do will be exposed to daddy government. Now, to some, that might be a good thing. But what happens to privacy? What about freedom? Personal freedom. What about that? What's up with that? Well, it'll be going by the wayside. And of course, this will be just in time for a new social credit system that China already has. Any dissenting uh, argument against the government, any unpopular opinion that you may have, will lead to you having a poor social credit, which will affect your ability probably to get loans, jobs, um, may affect your ability to travel uh, inside the country, affect your ability to travel outside the country. This can have major implications for every aspect of your life. Yes, draconian laws, man, by your boy Sleepy Joe because you love him so, right? Amazing, right? So here's the thing. Could this play here be a preparation for, a precursor, or a lead into 
the beast system, as in Mark of the Beast. Now, me, myself, I'm a preterist. I believe these things already happen. However, those are just my opinions and my thoughts. I could be wrong. So just what if, what if now, what if the day is coming where no man can buy or sell unless they have this mark, this digital currency, or possibly this RFID chip. They're making moves toward this. So let's look at this scenario. Um, they call, they're calling it Biden bucks, not officially, of course. Um, the digital dollar, um, central bank digital currency, and that control right there um, would allow for a true mark of the beast system to exist to where the government has completely uh, complete control and access over everything you do closely monitor everything you do and you will not be able to make a move without government approval and they could cut you off at any time so if they say jump up you got to jump up if you got to get this jab and that jab you got to get this jab and that jab no matter what it is they can sanction you overnight so first it was about, hey, we're going to take your jobs away if you don't do what we say. You know, as far as certain things are concerned, we don't want to talk about that. Uh, we know it's the seat, right? So the government is willing to act in a totalitarian and draconian way for whatever reason they deem fit. For whatever reason they deem fit, right? Um, whatever you don't do that they find or want you to be in compliant about, uh, they can sanction you and punish you immediately and where it hurts the most, your bank account. And no one will be exempt or safe from this. And that's the kind of world that's a scary one to live in. The kind of world that we would all dread. Um, no privacy, no freedom, um, access to any and everything would be restricted if the government wants you to. Imagine waking up and they say, you know what, well, we don't like what you said or posted on social media. We don't like your political affiliation or um, you're just not only banned from social media, but we're going to, as a punishment, we're going to lock your bank account for six months. I mean, imagine that. Imagine that. Total government control. End of cash, a cash of society, and a society in which everything you do is controlled, regulated, and monitored by the Fed. Is that the type of world that we think... <laughs> would be a utopia or is it going to make things much worse and harder and i don't know about you all but the longer i live on this planet it seems like the worse it gets yeah technology moves and makes things more convenient but as a society as a whole as time goes things get worse and worse so we already have wars and rumors of wars we already have an impending financial collapse and maybe after the wars and a financial collapse a whole new system a reset will probably occur, which includes central bank digital currencies, which would include what we would term or call the mark of the beast. Is it here? Is it time? Are we at the end? You be the judge. I'm just reporting the news. Go and look up executive order one four zero six seven and see what it's talking about and all of the uh clauses in there and all of the draconian laws that would be passed my goodness man and of course it will probably have the full backing of u.s congress again making our lives making your life making my life more and more difficult less and less private and less freedom and that's the thing you would think as we go forward as a society that there will be more freedoms globally, everywhere, more freedoms. But no, more restrictions and less freedom seems to be the rule of the day. And of course, it won't just be the United States. Other countries will be involved in having their own CBDCs, central bank digital currencies, uh, to track and control the populace in their country as well. So this will be a global system enacted coming to you via blockchain technology which is the technology of the future and this will go well with web 3 this will go well again with blockchain technology and cryptocurrency this is a new world a new wave a whole new financial system is on its way and will be the, probably the most draconian system 
that you can imagine or would ever experience. Scary times, fearful times. And I'm trying to bring awareness, not fear, but man, oh man, it seems like things get worse and worse by the day. How are you going to handle it? Do you believe that this is the precursor or is the mark of the beast system uh, to be enacted? Probably again by the end of the year. Some people are saying by December we'll have these CBDCs. Some people are saying by the beginning of uh, 2023, no later than 2024. But no matter which side you're on, we have to say that things are definitely turning around. We live in a much different world. So again, my question to you, is this the mark of the beast that's coming? Or is it past already? What will you do? Is this a scary thing or an exciting thing? Just provoking some thought. Just reporting news. Don't be mad at the messenger. Black Ram 313. I'm out.